Hey, skinny. <laughs> Hey y'all. What's up? What happened? What? Nothing went. On the carrot street, put your seatbelt on. Where are we going? I want to go to the dollar store to buy those like like thick noodles. Mom. What? Two minutes. It's our. Yeah, I think that's where the noodles are at. Because at um in TikTok, there's like these candies that are like like the little jelly candies. Hold on, we just calling them. And you bite into them and then. Hello. So we just got here to the Nana's store, guys. I used to come a lot, it kind of brings back memories. I used to go a lot like in Pomona. Did you ever go to the same one? The one on Holt? Yeah. Oh my god, I used to go to that one a lot. Oh, Obviously whatever. before we were like dating. But they have a lot of cute like Valentine's Day stuff, guys. I'm completely forgetting that next month is February, which is also our birthday month. Do you remember like giving these stuff out to your, well not this specifically, but like the little cards to your little uh, classmates? Yeah. This is a Valentine's meal tamales or is it just the meat what is it i don't know so cute what is this this is like so random but cute <gasps> i'm trying to look for them noodles okay goals Choo, all this christmas candy 50 percent off what were you looking for me no, David. Oh, here's a couple noodles, but not the wax. Oh, guys, I don't think they have them. Oh my god, you guys, they have them. The what the heck? Hmm? Wait. They're okay. in these. What the hell? And they're right in the corner, too. Wait, is this like the hot, hot brand? I think that's a. Or is this regular? regular? I hope so, right? Not the X, X, like the. Not the challenge one. Let's say that. It's not the challenge one? Okay, bueno. Yeah. Good. We need to buy like a few dead ass. We didn't even get a cart, guys. Look at these. This is a hot chicken flavor ramen. This is this looks really good. I'm gonna get a few of these. I think these are the same flavors, right? Yeah. Oh my god. I think these are the ones I was looking for too. I know they have some cheese ones, but that's obviously not here. This made me so happy. This is exactly what I was looking for. Yep. Really so excited for this. When somebody buys a couple little box, it's a flash box. They ain't walking out with three of them. And we're going to try first, like, three of them. And if we like it, we could always come back. Yeah. So we ended up, I guess, shopping for more other things. But I just saw this, and I don't know. That looks freaking disgusting to me. Ah, Brown. damn. I literally have Guys, we're going off. <laughs> I could tell. Oh, oh we ain't got some waters as well. Okay, guys, so I just made my noodles. Look at that. This looks so good, huh? They ended up actually, um, everyone else got in and out. And I'm eating this with my cranberry. You guys, I just got done getting ready to film. So, Brian is going to rate my Fashion Nova outfits. Um, so, I have a lot of clothes on the bed. I have to kind of go through it because some of it was from the trip from Mexico. And then some of it is... Because I was going to actually originally film that over there in Mexico. So, a lot of it is just my clothes mixed with Fashion Nova clothes. Um, wow, why is my nose so itchy? Oh my god, guys. So, I had the, the spicy noodles earlier. And I was spice up y'all like i really like um <laughs> spicy stuff i i actually do enjoy the spicy noodles as well but i didn't think it was like the one that they use in the challenges and it was that one because it was really really hot so i wasn't able to like completely eat them comfortably but i ended up switching on to the other one which it's funny because if you guys saw in the vlog um, I ended up getting a few of the other kind and a lot more of the spicy noodle one i could handle like like a lot i because i honestly really like spicy food like i was able to almost finish all of it so then i was like no i could have finished it but i knew that i had ordered a different kind of um noodles <laughs> i don't know but david and brian are learning like these card tricks and brian's actually getting really good at it so is he a magician now probably <laughs> I, can. I also wanted to show you guys this package that we got from pika pika so my favorite one is gushers and the skittles so they did send that over and they sent the gushers in a big bag these are so good you guys i'll show you guys a lot of times they come like together and it's just like Ooh. 
Oh. Oh. These are these. The little straw looking ones. And then they sent a bunch of these little ones. I fucked up the little packing of the special ones. Oh, you did? Yeah. I'm sure you guys. I'm not struggling. Wait, look at that. They always send so much. It's like they always talk you up like every other... I'm sure like every month or every other week. And since it's like so much, I'm always getting into like my family and stuff. Like everybody's obsessed with them. All my family is obsessed with these. So friends and family, if you're watching, come through. Hi guys. So it is... Oh, what day is it? Let me just check in case. It is January 16th, 11 p.m. It's about to be midnight. But my husband fell asleep and I feel like this is the only time I can actually really do this. So I'm going to take a pregnancy test. Wow. But I have my pregnancy test right here and I'm kind of nervous. I'm actually really not nervous because I'm like out of breath. Okay, I'm starting to shake. I didn't think I'd be this nervous because I've been... Ooh, I've been wanting to take this test because I am now officially five days late but you guys i had this experience a couple months ago where i was late like an entire week so i thought maybe i would wait a few more days because i already experienced this and yeah i just didn't think much about it i mean i have been thinking about it a lot because i'm like hmm there is a possibility that it could be pregnant just because you know we have been trying and oh my god i, I don't want to get emotional because like if i'm not I'm not you know um but i wasn't gonna take this test tonight i was just in the room brian actually knocked out and i needed to use the restroom and i'm like i've been wanting to take it i thought maybe i would wait a little longer but i'm like there's no like perfect time but now because he's asleep and yeah so i have the pregnancy test right here um this is actually the second time i take a pregnancy test the first time, which was a few months ago when I thought I was pregnant because I had missed like literally, I think it was like the same like five, six days. I took a pregnancy test, that was my first time and it was a fail. I was really upset um, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to start trying because I had realized how upset I was that I wasn't pregnant. Um, so we have been trying for a few months now and I feel like every month it's just like upsetting, you know, but... There's no rush. I feel like God's timing is perfect. But, you know, I'm going to take a pregnancy test today. You know, if I'm not, I'm not. It's okay. Um, but I'm going to take it. I'm like, you know what? Why wait for, like, the perfect time when the perfect time is just now? You know what I mean? Okay, so I already peed in a cup because I was literally, like, running over here because I literally needed to go to the restroom so bad. So I went and I peed in a cup. It was a hot mess. TMI, I know, but <laughs> I washed my hands, don't worry, which is why I'm touching my face, but it was like a hot mess. I got it everywhere, um, but I was able to aim some at the cup, and we're going to try it out. <sighs> I don't mind getting nervous. Like, I'm telling myself, you're probably not, like, why I overthink it. Like, I'd rather just know that, like, I'm not or know that I am. Oh, there's two tests in here. Perfect. The last time, I couldn't believe that I wasn't pregnant, and I had four pregnancy tests. I took four of them. But this time, I'm only going to take one. I'm going to believe in that one. I'm already five days late, so if I were to be pregnant, it would be, like, accurate, you know what I mean? Um, just read the instructions really quick. Why am I so nervous? Okay, the instructions might be inside. Okay, you can tell I've never really done this. The first time I didn't even read the instructions, like, I did it so wrong. Okay. Oh, here's one. So you could either, like, pee on the test or dip it in. Five seconds. Oh, man. I think what I'm going to do is like put the instructions over it, so we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to dip it. Four, five, 
Is it five seconds, right? Close this up. Okay. Oh my god, it's happening. Oh my god. It's just, oh my god, it was like really hard. Okay, so, oh my god, it's 12 with me. I should probably already look at it. I have removed the paper. Okay, I'm gonna look. Okay. God. Okay guys, it is now the next day. So I wanted to just close off the vlog because first of all, I didn't even know if I was gonna post this at all for you guys to see because the first time I had took a pregnancy test, I obviously filmed that too. And that's something that regardless of how many times it comes out negative, I will always film it. So <laughs> I feel like if I'm going to, um take a pregnancy test for any reason I'm gonna make sure I always record it just just in case because I would really hate for me to not record it and then find out I'm pregnant and I don't have any memory of it obviously when filming these stuff you expect and you know that that video is not gonna make it I feel like a lot of women out there that have recorded themselves have gone through this you know you you just know that you know it was a negative and you're not gonna post it but this time around I was like okay um you know this is like a process and it's it's just um part of it you know what i mean so i am gonna obviously post it you guys are obviously already watching this but yeah you know it's it happens um but when you're gonna take a pregnancy test you guys it is so freaking scary it's like such a nerve-wracking thing because you know if you look down and it's a positive like your life from there on is gonna change forever i feel like your emotions in that moment are so just like skyrocketed that i I just couldn't really like talk to you guys or anything and also I didn't even think it was gonna make it at all to like for me to post so I was just shocked and like sad but you know I feel like um this is the second time I take a pregnancy test and you know what I feel like the first time I was really upset I was but you know I quickly just got over it and thought you know like it's fine this time around um again I was upset but I feel like I quickly just told myself like it's okay it's God's timing so I don't think I've gotten to a point where I feel discouraged I think right now you know I just get like upset in the moment and then like literally right away like today I'm completely fine it's God's timing like that's literally um the best way that I think about it so I don't want anybody like feeling bad for me at the end of the day like I have been trying for just a few months and you know I think right now I'm just kind of looking at it as um, just let it happen when it's gonna happen I think I need to stop trying so hard to to get pregnant 
and just let it be. Just let it be. Like, what? Handsome. He let one rip. He let it be. You smell it. Why are you doing that? You're blowing in my way. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just like not trying to think about it. And I'm actually fine, completely fine. So, I don't want anything, anybody to feel bad, you guys, because um, I always remind myself that there's people out there that are really struggling trying to get pregnant. And for me, I'm just like, it's fine. Like, but yeah. And I actually, actually, Brian just like randomly woke up in the middle of the night. So yeah, I told him and obviously I was like all emotional about it. <laughs> so I'm telling you guys like I was just like not in the mood to like talk a lot to you guys. That's just the reality of it. But I feel like right now I'm just like over it already. I'm like, okay, you know, another month. What's good? So is this the end of the other vlog or whatever? Yeah. So we're vlogging today, but this is for uh, yesterday's <laughs> vlog. You guys, we didn't end it. Yeah, well I freaking took the pregnancy test and I... I was just like, I was already like knocked out. I'm like so nervous to even post this vlog if I'm gonna be honest because I think automatically when you see someone take a pregnancy test like you expect for it to come out <clears throat> like as an announcement, you know what I mean? I hope people out there like seeing, you know, because anytime you see people that take a test and it says they're pregnant, it's like you just assume that that was the first time they recorded it and mm -hmm. that they were pregnant. But you don't know how many times that person had to record till they got a positive, you know what I mean? Mm. Not saying I'm gonna put every single time that I record out there because the first time that I Well that's what I was saying earlier, just for us to document it. The first time I was like so upset, I immediately, immediately deleted all of the footage because I, I didn't even want to have Brian find out that I recorded it. <laughs> I was so upset. I think the first time it was more heartbreaking, now I'm just like, okay, it's fine. Now I'm just more worried, like, why haven't I not got it? Because I still haven't got it. One, I feel like my mom has always told us that she has had, like, menstrual uh, problems. I don't know if it's genetics. She's always had, like, really bad periods. And, you know, unfortunately, my mom has had plenty of miscarriages. I know that sounds really crazy. But I'm, I think more than anything, her period has always been off so it doesn't really shock me and then another thing i am like mm. overweight so it could be that too i don't know i have no idea it could be a mix it could be a mix of it honestly but then you guys i have heard like cycles could be um at least like a month and two weeks or something like that so if it's like above that it's like not normal i don't know you guys so i'm gonna give it a few more days if i still don't get my period i'm gonna have to get it checked out maybe i'm just overthinking it but I'm definitely already six days late. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But we hope you guys enjoyed. Brian's like, what the hell is going on? We well, hope you I guys like enjoyed this vlog. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Okay, bye.